So you were wondering how to install Plex using Docker on your home Linux server. In this video I will show you how to do that. We will go step by step and we will install Plex from scratch on a newly installed Ubuntu operating system. So first we will go through the Docker installation. I will show you how to install Docker the correct way using the official repositories. And in the part two, we will uh, create the Docker Compose file for Plex. And we'll have two files. One Docker Compose file will be used for uh, IMD and Intel iGPUs. And we'll have the second Compose file, which we'll use for NVIDIA. So let's jump to our Ubuntu machine. You see it's newly installed and um, we we'll have this internal IP address. So first thing first, we'll go ahead and we'll install Docker. I will link, leave the links for everything in, um, in the description. So we'll have to find install Docker engine on Ubuntu and we'll go here where we see install using the apt repository so we just copy everything and add here and now let's just install docker see it has 400 megs but it shouldn't take too much time So thank you for watching my video. I set a goal of uh, getting 10,000 subscribers till the end of the year. So if you guys like my video and if you enjoy watching my content and if you want me to create more tutorials for you, please consider subscribing to my channel. This will mean a lot for me. Thank you and let's jump back to the video. So now that everything is installed, let's check the docker, if it is running. And if I use sudo docker ps, I would see this, um, this text here, container ID, image, command, created, status, ports, and names, which means that the docker is already installed. Okay, now I have a favorite way of installing things with uh, docker i usually want to go to cd to optional and here i want to create uh, plex i want to create plex folder for the docker so cd will go to plex in this folder we will uh, install the we will add the docker compose file and also in this folder you will have all of the configuration and all of the data which you have accumulated using plex so basically if you want to move this um, container to another machine you will just copy the folder and you can move it but before going ahead and installing everything we'll have to create media folders where we will store our media so let's go and in my home directory i will create a folder which i will call media and in this media folder remove it and um, make a new directory we'll call it just shows and another directory we'll call movies okay now we have the movies and the shows directory and it is in home ubuntu media both of them uh, i will just save this 
the information and I will add it here along my the docker configuration files so now let's go to the CD to go to the optional and go to the Plex folder and let's check our configuration so like I mentioned you can have two configuration files for uh, Docker, one for NVIDIA, one for AMD and Intel GPU. We will install this time the Intel iGPU version or AMD version. And we will have to add some uh, information here. So basically we'll First of all, we'll need our Plex claim code, which we can get by going to plex.tv and claim. And we can get our claim code. So I'll copy it to the clipboard. And we have to move fast because the code will expire in four minutes. Okay. Now, we will use, important to know, uh, I am in time zone Europe Bucharest, but if you are in another location, you can, uh, you can use another configuration here. Now, the volumes. Basically, in this folder, you will save all of your configuration. That slash config, which means that in the current folder where this uh, docker compose file is located the config will be saved also here in current folder in config folder also the next section you'll have this root plex tv shows and shows basically in this location we will we'll have to teach docker compose file where is the media and shows folder and we'll have to bind this media shows folder with the docker image shows folder and next we'll also add the movies folder and basically we are doing the same thing we are teaching the docker container how to access the movies folder from outside of the container and in your home directory where we have initially created this media folder and here in the devices i have also mentioned uh, dev slash drive uh, in this directory usually the amd and the intel um, GPU drivers are stored. If you check NVIDIA, for example, uh, it's it's a different process because you will specify runtime NVIDIA here to the NVIDIA visible devices and the uh, NVIDIA driver driver capabilities. So let's copy this um, compose Docker compose information and we'll create a new folder we call it docker compose.yaml we'll just copy paste from everything from the text document and we'll have to open the nano using sudo docker compose app minus d so now Docker will start pulling all of the necessary images. It should take a minute, but after that, and we have a an error because I don't have installed the um, Intel drivers. Uh, it will give me an error. So let me just go ahead and. Uh, modify the docker compose file and for now I would remove the devices 
and I will run it again. And as you can see, now the docker is started and it is up for 6 seconds. Now, in order to access our Plex server, we will see what is the IP address configured on the interface. And the IP address configured on our physical interface is 192.168.0.109. And if for the first time it will not work, and if it will give you a blank page, just use a slash and web at the end. After that, your Plex server should load without any issues. Now we will log in into our account, into our Plex account. And we'll have to initially configure this uh, Plex server. If you want, you can also get Plex Pass. And uh, it is maybe a good idea to get uh, Plex Pass because you will be able to skip credits and you will be able to use any other uh, premium uh, Plex functionality. But the most important thing is that you will be able to perform transcoding. And usually Plex will perform some form of transcoding, but it will just kill your CPU. If you have a full version of Plex, you will be able to use your GPU for transcoding and Basically, why it's a good idea to use the GPU for transcoding, because it's very efficient to do so. And um, you will also see the difference uh, on your power bill if, uh, if you perform the GPU transcoding. Also, if you perform CPU transcoding, your PC will always run very hot and it will struggle to decode and encode some uh, some video formats. So if you can, just get Plex Pass to have um, hardware transcoding. So basically, we will add after that a name for uh, our Plex server. And we can leave this uh, checked to allow access to the media outside my home which means outside from the internet and we will organize our media so basically we will show plex what is the tv shows folder and it is our what is the movies folder and this is our movies folder and our tv shows folder which is this one so basically we have added movies and tv shows folder if you example have music photos or uh, some other videos you can create separate folders for those so this is uh -huh. add library, hit next, done, and it is finished. Now, as you can see, you can also watch some of the movies uh, on uh, directly on Plex. But this is not why we are here. We are are here to add our all movies and TV shows. So here is our movies and uh, TV shows folder. And we can start by adding, for example, let's add a YouTube video there. So I have copied one file. And if you go to the media folder, into the movies, you can see that I have copied something. 
So let's go to Plex and let's scan the library files. And as you can see, we have one file here. So if we hit play, you'll see that this is my first, this is the video which I created as an intro for this video series. In the next videos, I will show you how to automate and uh, how to manage all of your uh, Plex files and um, I will give you some scripts which will uh, make your life easier. So basically in, in the next video we'll discuss about uh, Radar, Sonar, Qubit Torrent, uh, Povlar and uh, I will show you what are these applications and uh, what you can do with them to make your life easier when you manage a Plex media server. So thank you and I will see you.